We can integrate 1 over x squared minus 1 using partial fraction decomposition. I'll leave a link in the description to my lesson going over that method, but in this video, we'll practice. We have to begin by factoring the denominator. So we rewrite this difference of squares as x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now we'll try to decompose this fraction like this a over the factor x plus 1 plus b over the factor x minus 1. Then we'll just multiply both sides of this equation by x plus 1 times x minus 1. That will cancel out the denominator over here, giving us just 1, and it will cancel out the x plus 1 with the a, leaving behind a times x minus 1, and it will cancel out the x minus 1 with the b, leaving behind b times x plus 1. So that gives us this equation which we can then rewrite like this. Gathering the x terms, we have ax plus bx, so a plus bx. As for the constants, we have b and we have minus a, so negative a plus b. Then we'll use the method of equating coefficients. There are zero x's on the right, so a plus b, the x is on the left, a plus b must equal zero. On the other hand, there's a constant of 1 on the right, so our constants on the left, negative a plus b, must equal 1. Thus, we get these two equations. a plus b must equal 0, and so a must equal negative b. But we also have that negative a plus b must equal 1. So, replacing a with negative b, we have that negative negative b plus b equals 1, which means that 2b equals 1, and so b is equal to 1 half. But then, since a equals negative b, we have that a equals negative 1 half. And so we see how to decompose the fraction. It's negative 1 half over x plus 1 plus 1 half over x minus 1. So, trying to integrate this, well, that's the same as integrating this, which is very straightforward. So it turns out that integrating this is the same as just integrating this sum of fractions. Each of these terms has an integral, which is just a natural log with this coefficient. So the first fraction, when we integrate it, becomes negative half ln of x plus 1. And the second fraction, when we integrate it, gives us 1 half times the natural log of x minus 1. Then, of course, we also have the arbitrary constant. Finally, we have a log minus a log, and so we can rewrite this as division. We also factor the 1 half out of both terms. So taking that 1 half out, and then we have this log minus that log, which we can rewrite as division in a single log. So we have 1 half times the natural log of x minus 1 divided by x plus 1 plus the arbitrary constant. And that is our final answer. That's how to integrate 1 over x squared minus 1 using partial fraction decomposition. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my Calculus 2 course and Calculus 2 exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching.